Training around with an injury. We've had a lot of messages about what to do when you get injured, how to train around your injuries, and so on and so on. So, what I would say is, do you want to take it away? Um, it depends what your injury is. Um, for instance, if you've got a knee injury, or ankle, foot, whatever it is, then avoid high impact things like plyometrics, such as jump lunges, burpees, all that kind of stuff, box jumps, that require a lot of impact and will force a lot of impact for the joints. So avoid things like that. And just, it's personal preference, focus on things that you can do comfortably without any pain. Um, I mean, Adam's recently, was it your squats? My ACL on my right knee, yeah. yeah. Um, so here's the one for you, right? I had a little bit of a lower back injury and I had an ACL on my right knee. So it was massively imbalanced. What did I do? Okay, I looked at my training and I thought my program right now and for however long has been back squats at the start, which me and Tom pretty much always do, reasonably heavy, deadlift second. Now I had a massive imbalance after my Im I had a massive imbalance after my ACL. So what I did was I changed to doing single leg work a lot. I focused on the things that I could do and the stuff that needed worked on. So I started with Bulgarian split squats or split squats to the floor. Now, if this was okay, I would gradually progress, but I was sort of basically starting my own fitness journey again by doing single leg work as my main lift and doing maybe like, instead of doing five sets of squats and five sets of deadlifts, I was doing 10 sets of Bulgarian split squats. Yes, it was a little bit boring, but I just got dealt with the cords of a torn ACL. So that is what I had to do for maybe like 12 weeks until I built up the strength of being able to do some lighter squats. Now I'm only just getting after like six months back to being able to do slightly heavier squats. So the main thing that I focused on was focused on the things that I could do. So for example, if any of you have back injuries, I would probably say heel elevated, like goblet squats would be better than like a barbell back squat because there's not as much pressure. You're probably not gonna be lifting as heavy, but you still can train. Don't forget that. Yeah. Especially if you are in a fat loss journey. Essentially what you've got to do is Try and work muscles, try and load them in some way, shape or form just to keep the muscle that you've gained and also create a calorie burn. You can do this with anything. Exactly. Yeah. Agreed. Um, again, as I said before, like it's hard when you've been trained for like X amount of years and then you get dealt with an injury and you're like, well, you think you're invincible until you get an injury. And mine was like tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, which is like a pain in the tendon around your elbow, obviously. Um, so any press movement, any pull movement was giving us tons of grief. So I just had to do movements that wouldn't give me any pain, give it rest, and then I gave it like, what, a month's rest? And then now I'm fine again. So again, best thing to do, as Adam said, find something that you can work on, progress that, and then go back to what you can do in the long run. That makes sense. Right, what I would like you to do is, if, cause you were all academy members. If you have an injury, right? What I want you to do is, first of all, identify the program that you would want to do if you were completely normal. If you had brand new body, there was no injuries, right? So say you choose fat loss 90, okay? Second thing to do, identify the injury that you actually have. Make sure you know exactly what it is from the doctor or from a specialist. Tell us what that is, okay? So you've chosen your program, You've chosen and you've told us you haven't chosen, but you've found out what your injury is specifically. Now the third step of this is write a list of all the things by trying it for one week on the Fat Loss 90 program or whichever one you choose, all the things that feel good, all the things that feel bad, and send them to us, okay? On a post on the Facebook group, because you're a member, okay, you pay, this is what our job is, okay? Those three things, once you've done that, we can go in directly to you and change from what you say to help your lower back or your knee injury or your shoulder injury or anything like that. But we can't do that until you give us maybe like five things that feel good, five things that feel bad, because then we'll get what's wrong with you, what your injury is and what program you want to do, okay? Don't just say, I've got an injury, what do I do, blah, blah, I can't train, okay? If you do that, we can give you a specific program. For example, if you have a shoulder injury, like a rotator cuff injury, and bench press and dumbbell chest press might be hurting a little bit, there's no reason why we might not be able to get you to do like close grip and load your triceps a little bit more. Same with the thing, if you've got anything like me, if your back's fucked for a little bit, we'll give you some split squats where you can keep a really, really upright posture or reverse lunges. The more upright you stay, less pressure on the lower back, 
you can still train, you can still look good on the beach. Happy days. Everyone's in, everyone's injury is individual, and again, we don't know until you tell us. So it's the best thing. <coughs> best thing to do. Three steps, and we can fix you. Peace.